Hello and good morning, guys, and ladies and gentlemen. My name, as introduced already, is Christoph Bachinger. I'm working for Sile Austria, and then as a, as a design engineer. Um, today, I want to show you a short presentation about a project which we did in Bangkok. Um, the project is called Icon Siam, and it's very close to the to the Chapra River. The building is mainly used as a shopping center, but they are also in the cinema, offices, and uh, residential areas. Um, on this particular project, we did three different facades. Um, straight on the, on the top, it's called the Wisdom Hall, where it's a museum in. We did them together with Eckersley O'Callaghan. Um, the facade types here was an outward leaning triangular facade, uh, cable net, and all, we did also some uh, fixed glazed side lights on the left and right hand side of those facades. Um, next one is almost in the center of the, of the building. It is an Apple store, and we was involved in the interior and exterior storefront. And the main project, or the main facade, which I will explain today a little bit more in detail, was called the luxury wall directly here on the river. Um, the, the, the luxury wall has his name because um, all the luxury brands of the shopping mall are behind this more or less big shop front. Um, at the, Additionally, um, we did. Uh, there is a there is a, a public roof terrace on the top of it, um, where the facade is also acting as a balustrade. Um, the facade uh, is, has approximately 5,300 square meter, and um, it's, it's a to it's a, the height is approximately 24 meters in total. So uh, on the facade, we have 333 individual uh, uh, glass fins with a, with a maximum length of 16 meters. But to achieve the 24 meters, we spliced them. Uh, we, we spliced them. The same amount applies to the uh, to the fascia glass, also with with a maximum length of 16 meter. Um, the buildup for the fin is was for the glass fins was five times uh, 10 millimeter heat strength. And uh, with the SG into layer, and some areas where we had higher structural capacity, it goes up to eight, to eight times. And the whole the whole facade, the whole fascia glass, the whole facade glass was two times ten. Um, the, the tie art to you can see here the tie art to folding uh, banana leaves called by three was mainly was the main driver for the geometry. The, this gives us this unique six this unique six uh, six shape where we have the fins and always a fascia glass spanning between those, those fins. And those, and those shape was wrapping around the building in, 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 in different angles. Um, additionally, all fins was, was leaning uh, outwards and, and, uh, and in one or another side. So there was a maximum, um, it's a maximum angle of 14 degrees. Um, we did a, a, complete, uh, a full uh, FE modeling of the whole facade. Um, but due to the uh, capacity of the computer, we, we have to divide them in, in, three, in 13 different areas. And here you can see a, one, a small extract of the of, of one modeling. It was quite, was quite a, a big uh, structural model, and it takes a while for, to get all the, the results. Um, th this picture shows uh, the top connection, um, which is very which was a very important point for us cause, because the, the whole facade is hanging, so it's a suspending system, and the, the whole dead load goes into this point. And we had, uh, we had to proper calculate the stress all around this, this holes, so the drillings here. Um, and to, to get uh, to verify our, our calculations, we did additional uh, several tests of those. To, to see if everything is acting exactly as it is designed, or and also to verify if the calculation is correct. Um, and the good thing is we passed all the tests. Um, we we also uh, we also made some some one by one form uh, models for the. This is for example for the bottom connection, which give us in the in the early design stage a very good feeling about how how everything is looking. How the details comes together, and to get to get a good overview of the details. Um, this this particular detail has to take all the vertical movements because the, the facade is hanging on the top, so everything is is sliding on the on the bottom. But we had due to the inclination and to the the horizontal loads, we have to support the, the fins in in all horizontal directions. So the com the complete facade was was designed in 3D. We use mainly the software Rhino and the software Creo on this project. 
Um, the, the next few slides uh, shows how the how the three D comes to the reality. So we when we we overlap them, so you can see here in in some certain areas how the three D model is and how it was looks later on the side. So it's well, um, due to the geometry, we we don't so see any other chance to do it in three D. Um, Parallel to the whole design process, we did we did a lot of renderings. The, the renderings was very helpful to get the fast approval with the client, um, and also to, to show him how the design will look like later on. Um, we had we had a we had a very tight pro uh, program on this project, which which means uh, we get the contract in uh, in August 2016, and in September 2016 we we had to order the Roglas campaign. And two and a half months later, we go into the production. Um, one of the big, uh, the big benefits was that we did the whole production within the Sealer Group, which, uh, which will help us to, to achieve this program. All mild steel brackets, for example, here was, was done on, in Czech Republic with, with Sealer Pilsen. Um, we, had, we had approximately 100 tons of, of those mild steel brackets. And all the stainless steel fittings, or the, stain, or the, 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 the glass connectors, are uh, are made in, in duplex steel, and here we talk about approximately 120 tons. The, the, glass, the glass fabrication was done by Sedak, of course, um, which each single, each single glass pane was CNC cutted with all the holes and, uh, and polishing on them, um, and made the, made the lamination to the required thickness. Um, this kind of facade needs an absolute perfect edge treatment, especially in the Especially in the in the drillings in the drilling areas, and also we have we have to achieve this high level of uh, of tolerance. Um, all uh, all the stainless steel connector which we had we, we delivered from from Sailor Pilsen to to Sedak for pre-assembling, um, which which means that all single components on the glass fin uh, was connected was connected already with the, with the fin in the in the factory, which including the grouting works, including the silicon works. Which, which has a big benefit on that the works are on, under control condition in a factory. It helps to have less transports to site, and uh, of course, it will save time for the installation. Um, the 60 meter pre-assembly fins could not deliver via standard container. Therefore, we we special uh, this bespoke wood grades, and the wood grades was uh, well, has approximate the length of 16.5 meters. Um, the the wood grades are designed to, uh, to, to handle during transportation and, of and also uh, to do the handling on site. Um, we, uh, this wood grades could also not to be delivered with a, on, a, on a normal ship, so we have to book this roll-on, roll-off uh, roll, roll roll mm -hmm. ship, um, which, which needs a very accurate uh, planning and timing of all the deliveries. In total, we had approximately 150 deliveries from middle of Europe to, to Thailand, and the half of them was just wooden grates with glass. Um, the, but that's, the, that's, that's not all. The, the a bigger challenge was to bring the grates to the site. Um, of course, you have the, the big traffic jam in Bangkok, so the only chance what we had was during the night. And we had on site, we had a proper space here in front of them to, to storage them, but we have to go through this small street around here with this, with this long, with this long grades, which was almost impossible. We had to re remove a lot of, a lot of fence there. And also we, we have to go in the property of the, of another landlord and, and so on. So it was, it was quite tricky, but by the end it's here. Uh, all the, all the grades are here. Um, before we start to the, before we start with the glazing, um, we, we had to build a very a very stiff uh, support structure, temporary support structure on the on the scaffold, because the fin was not designed to stand alone, and due to the, the angle there was the need the fascia glass uh, to stabilize the fin. So when we means we start the installation and we we have to we put the fin in, has to secure them on this temporary structure. And then uh, start with the fascia glass to stabilize it, and the whole connection between glass uh, between the fin and the glass was with structural silicon. And as soon as the, the silicon is applied and getting hard, we was able to remove the, the temporary structure behind. Uh, for for this particular project, we be, uh, we developed a bespoke glass sucker. Um, the, the glass sucker has to has to be carried out loads until three point. 
3.5 to, to 4 tons, and also, and also to, to stabilize via this counterweight uh, when, the, when, the glass is, when the glass is on top. All the, it was due to the geome geometry of the, of the building, um, it was needed that uh, the, the sucker frame was able to have a rotation of 360 degrees and the, the, the cantilever arm needs to be uh, rotated for uh, 45 degrees. And the, the, whole, the whole sucker frame was, re, was remote control and um, additionally we secure the glass with, te with, tension, bolt onto, uh, with tension belts onto the, onto the sucker frame. And this, uh, this sucker frame allows us for a very accurate and precise installation. When you, we, uh, we have to bring in the fascia glass between two fins with a gap of 15 mil on both sides. Uh, when, you, when you imagine you have the 60 meter glass panels in front of you and you just move it on the bottom one mil, it's go, it goes on the top, it's two, two centimeters is shifted and we have 50 mil on both sides. So it was, it was the, the grand driver has also, did also a very good job. Um, in this particular area, you, you'll see why, we, why it's needed that the sucker frame is, was so, so flexible. We have, to, we have to move in with the, with the counterweight, the whole arm was four meters long, and, um, the, but the, the, width of this, uh, the width of this recess was only 3.2 or 3.4 meters. So we, we have to shift it in an angle and it was very tricky to install it. Um, we, we choose the, the installation method that we start inside and go further out and go outside, otherwise it was the, the risk was too high to damage the already installed glass panels. Um, we, we, with, this, with this frame, we was, uh, with the sucker, we was able to install ten, approximately on a good day 10 pieces, uh, 10 pieces of glass per day. Do not count in the program now. It's it takes another four to five five days to do the final adjustment of those of those single day, of those single uh, elements. Um, per one of our main tasks on on the side was to to protect all the open glass edges. The the construction side was fully ongoing when we installed the, the facade. There was concrete works uh, was ongoing by side. A lot of subcontractors run, running around there, and we. We had, we had a, a small group which was only which did only protect the glass edge on them. Um, the, the, next few, the next few slides will sh will give you a short uh, impression of the of the final facade, and by the by the end um, we had we had prepared a, a small movie with about two minutes for which captured the whole process of the of the project. So. Um, for here, for example, this was the maximum span what we had. It was 20 meter, but at this at this time we was not we was not able to to produce glass in this side, which we can do now. But uh, so we had to splice it on top. So it was a, a canty, canty, uh, single span of 20 meter. And, and here and here you can see also the balustrade which sticks up un, up to four meters and on the top of them. So, this is, and the, here you can see the, the, the whole facade around. It's going up with, for, from the difference, from the size. I well, go step, one step back to the sizes once more. So here we have this 20 meter single span. In this area we have eight meter on the bottom and 12 meter on the top. And also the, and also the balustrade which goes up from one meter to four meters on the top. Okay, then can we move? To, no.
So f for me, for me personally, it was a, a very special project. It was very, it was it was a hard time, but it was a good time to do this. Um, uh, the, we and the whole team are quite proud of it, and I hope I hope you enjoyed the, the few pictures. And if you have some question or something, feel free to ask. Well, I think you should be proud of it. I think it was a fantastic presentation. Thanks. An excellent project, a really mm -hmm. an, an excellent example of good facade engineering. Do we have any question to the speaker from the floor? Mr. Spiet and Lank at the back. <laughs> Who will be one of our speakers later. Yeah, thank you for the presentation. It was very good. What is the replacement strategy for, for this one? Um, the replacement strategy is, um, we, on one hand, we have to, uh, we did a, a risk analysis, what, what is possible, how many glass pieces can break and so on. And if it has to be, a, we had already the, the chance, uh, the choice that one piece has to be replaced. You have to block a, a huge area. We, we have to do this uh, temporary scaffolding behind. Again, uh, uh, secure both both fins, whatever what is was broken next to the to the broken glass, and then and then remove it. This is a it's a bigger it's a bigger action, but it's possible. And the, the client is fully aware of them because that was that was one of the first questions in the, in the early stage. We got involved with these questions from several meetings from time to time, and um, he, the client is aware of it. But it's it's, it's as I was mentioned already, it's a, it's a big it's a bigger action. So do you have a couple of spares in in Bangkok, or you, or you need to ship it to, from Germany? Um, each each individual or each panel has an individual size, so there is no, no glass panel has is, has a repeated function there. So if something is broken, we have to remanufacture it, ship it back to uh, ship it to Thailand, and and replace it there. What what we did is we we made two of these sucker frames, and one of those frames is uh, is stored on the in the shopping center. So how long it will take? Three months? Um, six months? Um, three, approximately three months, and of course it's depending on the size of the glass, if how long it takes the protection, how how many how big uh, how many opportunities for the delivery we have. If we put, if the client wanted it earlier, if you put it into the plane or bring it deliver it by sea freight, so but we we estimate approximately three months. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Marco, at the back, right. It's a single pane facade. How does it work with the climate? Um, there is um, be behind uh, behind this facade is a is a second skin. There is a, a second skin which which close the the, the stores away or bring the stores away from the uh, from the the facade. But on the other hand, in in Thailand, they, they don't take really care about IGU. So the the whole. On the on the whole building, the only the only IGU which is which is built is one, is for, uh, on the the storefront from uh, from the mobile phone seller in front of us, or on top of this. Yeah, it's 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 uh, more about uh, cooling, not heating. So it's yeah, it's it's about cooling, but um, and the condensation. There has there has a lot of uh, of air conditions inside, but the general the, the general uh, statement in Thailand is that they not really take care of it. They they put more air conditions in as they spend money for IGU. That's the that's the the way how they do it so far. Not, not particularly sustainable way of of building. Let's call it this way. Either thermal broken profiles or something has don't find the way so far to Thailand. So each each Malian transom system or window system is is without thermal bro uh, broken system. Any other question from the floor? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it tough and those heat strength and glass? Heat, heat strength and glass, yeah. So it's mm. better mm -hmm. Okay. Any other question? What what was your biggest challenge? What did you find? I mean, I, I for a start, I echo uh, Peter's uh, concern on glass replacement mm -hmm. strategy, and and I'm so glad that you said you started from the from the very beginning. Yeah. You always need, of course, to design, to maintain, design to replace, design for for life for, for the entire life of the building. So that was a very important aspect of that. Mm -hmm. But what was, in your opinion, the key thing? If you could. Just have a magic wand to say, I want to resolve that now. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest challenge? 
uh, one of the biggest challenges was to, to deal with the Thai culture. It was, we, if you, it's a, it's a different approach to work. It's, you, you have, to, but it's, that, that's something which you do normally everywhere around the world. When you, when you've been a lot, uh, when you're working international, you have always to, to learn with the different cultures. It was for me special to, to, to deal with the Thai culture especially how the meeting was approached there. Um, and on the, uh, and from, a, from a design perspective, it was the, the tight program. Um, as I mentioned before, we, within one month, we had to finalize the, the, whole, the whole glass build-ups to, to place the row order of the glass. And the production should start two and a half, or had start two and a half months later, which, give, which was very, um, so it was very, the program was very tight and um, gave us a lot of a lot of challenging to finalize the details to, to go ahead with them. Um, if there was there was a lot of knowledge already in, already in the group to for this kind of facade, but to to, to bring everything together um, to to work it out on this particular project, which makes fun, but it was ch was challenging. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you deal with the movements on the angle, mm -hmm. the thermal dilatation, uh, thermal expansion, and movement of the primary structure? Um, from the storage drift, you mean, or yeah, drift and thermal of, the yeah, facade, of, the of the whole facades in the angle? Um, on, on one hand, the, the concrete structure was very stiff, so we had a maximum uh, horizontal displacement, displacement from, the, from the bottom level, from the ground level to the top level of 15, 15 mil, which is for 20 meter high almost nothing. Um, and we, we deal it with them in, inside the, the, the joints, which, which create additional stress in the, in the joints, but um, we, let the whole, we have let the whole facade move. Any other question, or should we just uh, wrap it up with a round of applause for our speaker? Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Hi there. Did you like what you just saw? If you did, why not like the video? Drop us a comment below, as well as share the video with others, since GPD is all about sharing. And to receive more videos in future, subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications. Ciao.